Hi, this is Brian with Practical Prep TX, and today I'm going to be drawing blood from Buttercup here, our uh, Jersey dairy cow that we get milk from every day, um, to see if she is pregnant. We did artificial insemination on her about 31 days ago, and right at 28 days after that, you can draw blood. So what I do is I use a company called BioPregCheck. That's a B-I-O-P-R-E-G-C-H-E-C-K. And it's easy to buy these materials. All you need is a syringe and a little test tube. You draw two cc's of blood from the tail right here, which I'll show you. Put it in here, mail it off, and within a week, they're gonna give you emailed results and we'll know if we gotta do this again or not. So, all right, so let's do it. So first thing you do is make sure she's, she's clean underneath the tail right here. And we're going to go ahead and insert the needle right next to this kind of V that you got here in the tail. There's a vein right there where we want to try and draw blood from. So that is what I'm going to do right now. Can you hold the tail? All right. Here you go. Now this, um, this can sometimes take a little bit of try, a few tries to get it right. So here we go. And you want to kind of do it quick. Back it off just a hair if you need to. Or there. Let's try it again. Nope, still didn't get it. So you can see this can be kind of a challenging process. There we go. Looks like we're looks like we're getting it now. No. Yeah, we're filling up slowly. So we'll let it fill up slowly here. Until we get two cc's. And there we go, we're at 2.5. Not sure if you can see that. So we are good. So I'm going to pull it out now. And we are going to put it in the test tube, which I will show you right here. Stick it in the test tube. And let it go in. It automatically sucks it in, pull it out, and we're done there. And then quickly, I want to go ahead and lift her tail back up and press here just to stop the bleeding and make sure she's good. <clears throat> and that's it. So I'll clean her up a little bit now after that. We send this off and we'll know in a week whether or not she's pregnant. All right, so just some final thoughts here on uh, the blood draw I did for the pregnancy test. Um, I can't say enough good things about BioPregCheck. Um, they've been really easy to work with. All I did, this is my first time, so I am by no means an expert at this. This is my first time owning a cow. My wife and I just decided, you know what, we're sick of all the food shortages and we just wanted to take matters into our own hands. So I'm a rookie at this completely. I'm a surfer, stockbroker from Southern California, originally now here in Texas for the last 12 years. I'm learning a whole new lifestyle. So um, I'm learning as I go. So hopefully I can help you guys as well if you're looking to do the same thing. But uh, we just own two Jersey cows here, basically a, a mom and a calf, uh, so we get milk. Uh, and they're A2A2. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, go ahead. There's plenty of videos out there explaining what that is, but it's supposed to be more of a healthy milk for people who are lactose intolerant, or it's just generally better for you, apparently. So that's what we have. Um, we milk them every day. It's it's work, but you know we do love it as well. Um, but again, BioPreg check. Check them out if you do have a cow. Um, they'll give you the paperwork. They'll send you the syringes everything. They walk you through every. It was, easy, it was easy even for me to do. So um, that's saying something. Um, so yeah, so we just drew the blood. Now I'm going to mail it off. It's really easy. It takes me five minutes to fill out the paperwork. I mail off the check and it's only like $3 per test. So it's extremely inexpensive. Um, I'll mail that off and then within a week I'll get the results. And if that uh, comes back negative, this is the second time we've done this actually. Yeah, we tried to AI, AI, it's called artificial insemination. We did that about uh, it's probably about three months ago now. Uh, came back negative, so it didn't take. And we're gonna, we just did it a second time. And if you're in the Austin or the Texas area um, and you're looking to have uh, artificial insemination, you can reach out to me. I can give you the contact of a guy who I work with who's really good. Um, and you can do pretty much half the work yourself and then the other half really he needs to do, or at least in my opinion, he should, especially for a rookie like me. Um, so you can feel free to leave a message in the comments and I can reach out to you. Um, but yeah, I'll send that off and hopefully she's pregnant. If not, we'll start the process again. Uh, my next video I think I'm going to do on how I actually uh, raise these two cows in a 30 by 30 pin. 
Um, I am on 15 acres here, but we really haven't put them out there yet because as you can see, it's mostly wooded. There's a little bit of grass behind me, um, but we've had no rain here in Texas. It's 2023. It's been better, but 2022 is awful. So um, all I'm doing is feeding them these big round bales, which you can kind of see uh, behind me. I pick those up uh, in my trailer and just drop them off here every uh, three or four months. I go and get a few more um, and they go through about uh, one of those things a month. Um, but I'll get into detail on that in another video. So uh, I'll be making more videos on how I raise these things myself. Um, it's a fun project, that's for sure. Um, and it is worth it. So thanks a lot, everybody. Please like, subscribe to this video. It'd help me out to start getting some traction. This is, this is a new channel. So appreciate it. Thanks, y'all.